Hey, so glad you're here. Sometimes you need a little spark to get yourself going. You need a little something, something to ignite a fire so that you can move through a challenge, so that you can transform pretty fast. Fire is a fast moving element and yoga is an alchemical practice and when the two meet we have the capacity to get ourselves lit up from inside pretty quickly so let's do it take a stance um, i'm doing this without a mat today you can do it with a mat or without a mat whatever you choose take a stance that is as wide as your outer hips so a little bit wider than your hips and with an inhalation reach your arms all the way up and as you exhale, join your hands together and lower them through the front of your face, to the front of your heart. Bring a tone to the back of the throat to ignite a connection with your breath. Inhale, reach your arms up. And so your breath makes this resonant sound. Exhale, join your hands and lower them through the front of your face, to the front of your heart, this place of desire and love and passion. Inhale, reach your arms up high, this place in you, your heart that gets you going. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart that moves life force through your entire system. Inhale, reach your arms up, and with an exhalation, bend your knees and reach your arms out to the sides. Bring your forearms to your thighs. Inhale deeply here so your legs are strong with your knees bent. There's this engagement in your legs. Keep your knees bent. Exhale, bring your fingertips to the floor. And if you can't touch the floor even with your knees bent, put your hands on something, on a chair or blocks or a couch or a table, whatever you need. Inhale, keep your knees bent. Look forward, halfway up. Reach your hips back as your chest is sent forward and exhale. Keep your knees bent and fall back in. Deep tone in the back of the throat. Inhale and look forward. And exhale, fall back in. Connect to the breath as a way to connect to that which moves through you. Inhale, look forward, halfway up. And to connect to that which moves you. The breath animates us. Exhale, fold back in. The breath of life animates everything that exists. Inhale, reach all the way up. Metaphorically speaking, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Legs straighten. Exhale, bring your hands to the heart. But in a way, everything has an aliveness to it. Hands to the heart. Release your arms. Separate your feet wide apart from one another and inhale reach your arms all the way up and with an exhalation bend your knees and bring your hands to your thighs reach your hips back and your chest forward as you inhale so you're creating a little bit of an arch in your lower back and with an exhalation keep your knees bent and look in towards your navel send your tail towards the earth and draw the ribs into the center of the belly to pull the belly in and then inhale send your chest forward and reach your hips back and exhale again round your back look in towards your navel puff the back of your body like a halloween cat inhale reach the hips back and the chest forward and exhale round the back so moving the spine like that actually helps regulate the nervous system. So as we turn things on, inhale, reach your arms all the way up and stretch your legs straight. We don't burn ourselves out. Exhale, bring your hands to the heart. We help ourselves stay regulated. And of course, there's going to be moments when we do burn out. Inhale, reach your arms up high. It's part of modern life. Exhale, open, turn your right toes out. I'm going to mirror you. Turn your right toes out and with an exhalation, Bend your right knee, bring your right forearm to your right thigh and stretch your left arm up and over your head. Ground and root through both of your feet into that molten core of the earth which pulls us down with this gravitational force, pulls us down and into it. At your core, you're going to draw the, the sides of the ribs towards the center and the front of the hip bones towards each other. At your core, there's this magnetic force 
So our, even our digestive system, our capacity to transform and to work through things is magnetic, it's powerful, it destroys and creates simultaneously. Ground through the feet and come up to stand. Inhale, stretch your right leg straight, turn your right toes in, turn your left toes out, arms up as you inhale, and with an exhalation, bend your left knee and bring your left forearm to your left thigh, right arm up and over your head. Root down through both of your feet as you extend long through the upper body, as you reach long through the fingertips of your right arm. I'm mirroring you, so I had to take a moment and think about it. Slow breath. And with your breath, feed what lights you up. Feed what nourishes your soul. Feed what gets you going. Breathe into that which moves you and inspires you. Ground through the feet as you extend long through the upper body. Inhale, come up to stand. Turn your left toes in. Exhale slowly. Heel toe your feet back towards one another and place your hands on your belly. Breathe into your belly and make your belly big. And exhale as you let go of the breath of the air. Let your belly rest back. And let's do that again. Inhale and make your belly big with your breath. And exhale, slowly allow your belly to rest back. And we're gonna do a little bit of Kapalabhati, shining skull breath, sometimes called breath of fire. We're gonna focus on the exhalation, like that. So the exhalation pulls, pushes the air out and pulls the belly in. And you can do it at a slower pace than what I'm doing. Can you hear what I'm doing for a second? So I'm still moving the breath. You can keep doing it. I'm still moving the breath through the tone in the back of the throat. It's not so much of a nasal kind of a situation. Like It's not like... It's more at the tone at the back of the throat. Can you hear the difference? Keep pushing the air out as you pull your belly in. Your eyes can be softly open or closed. And the rhythm with which you're breathing can be slower than what you're hearing me do or faster. You can just practice just the movement of the belly if this is a newer um, practice for you. Or you can go pretty fast if you're um, a, an experienced fire breather. We'll do it for a couple of more moments at the pace that makes sense for you. Cooking, transforming yourself in the fire alchemizing what needs to be shifted, changed, so that you can move into whatever is next on your, on your list for the day. And then exhale slowly all the way out. Keep the air out for a moment. Inhale all the way in. Keep the air in for a moment. And then exhale all the way out through the nose, through the tone in the back of the throat. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. And exhale, bend your knees as you stretch your arms through the side and fold forward and your knees can stay bent or your legs can straighten depending on where you are and how you're feeling today. Hold your elbows. And let your body hang. Slow breath. Okay. 
sometimes it's a slow simmer that we are working with. And sometimes we need a fast paced, full on, ferocious transformation. Release your hands to the floor and bring your knees to the floor. Separate your knees wide and bring your big toes to touch. Reach your hips back in towards your, into, <laughs> toward your heels. Wow, sometimes simple things are hard to say. Forearms to the floor and bring your forehead to the floor. Child's pose. Fire invites us to see things and sometimes it's the invitation to see things through different angles, from different perspectives, with fresh eyes, like a child. And sometimes it's the eyes of wisdom, the eyes of experience, the eyes that have already seen this before. Fire increases our capacity to see. And slowly sit back on your heels, if you can, if not just a whatever comfortable position you'd like. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. This gesture, this mudra, Anjali mudra is a vessel and an imprint. That's what mudras are of the heart's deepest offering of Anjali, soft and vulnerable and generous in its giving. Deep breath in. And to the fire that connects us, the fire that we gather around as a community of humanity, that which brings us together through our differences, through our many ways of seeing and thinking, to that which connects us. We can softly bow. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I'm so glad to have had this moment with you and I hope this was in some way helpful. And if it was, please share it with your people. Like this video if you liked it. Uh, and head over to mamamandala.com. I leave a link for you in the description of the video. We have a lot of in-depth programs coming up. So please sign up for our mailing list and you won't regret it. It's going to be inspiring messages coming your way and announcements of the very exciting new things brewing in our cauldron. So subscribe to this video if you haven't already and I will see you soon. Okay, thank you, namaste.